Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today I'm here to help you speed up and save battery life on your Samsung Galaxy A51. Now this particular version is a one from Verizon in the US, but they should get about the same features in terms of changes, but your overall settings might look a little bit different. So let's get to it. So first off, you want to speed up your home screen. So the first thing you're gonna do right there is either pinch to zoom, or you can always hold down an empty space, and that brings you to this menu. And there, you want to turn off Bigsby Home. It really does slow down your home screen. And then in home screen settings, you can feel free to change a bunch of things. The first thing I would do though is swipe down notification panel. So you can just swipe down and always see your notifications from anywhere on the home screen. The other part will be that I would recommend you can actually rotate in landscape. A lot of people don't know that, but your home screen can be in landscape. So you want to switch to that as well. There you have it. If you do happen to always, by the way, move your apps accidentally, this uh, will really help you to lock it so you can't. I do this for my mom and my brother uh, because they tend to move their apps accidentally a lot. So that is really good for that purpose. Now, another thing you're going to want to do is actually change the power button. So at the top over here, you're gonna hit this little power button icon and go to side key settings. This will allow you to make it so when you hold down the power button, it actually powers off the menu and doesn't wake up Bigsby. This is a useless thing that Samsung put on here for Bigsby. If they wanted to, they should have kept the third button, but this is a much better way. Holding down the power button to turn the phone off and then double pressing to launch the camera is my favorite. However, you can change it to Bigsby or something else if you so choose to. Then for the next step, we're going to start our settings transition. So a lot of these ones will go into settings. So first and foremost, you're gonna to wanna to go to connections and then go to your Wi-Fi connections and you're gonna to wanna to hit these little three dots and go to advanced. So I would turn on uh, Wi-Fi automatically for the ones that you uh, go to frequently. So this means if you go to work all the time, if you go to home all the time, uh, when you get there, it will automatically switch those on. So that's really a just great benefit. So you can automatically switch to Wi-Fi when you know that you're able to. Um, in terms of everything else, you can manage networks, you can do a lot of stuff, but that's gonna be the biggest one that I wanna say everyone wants to turn on automatically. Then for the next part, you're gonna to want to go to more connections and then make sure nearby scanning, uh, device scanning is turned on. What this allows for is so you can actually share to nearby devices very easily through Wi-Fi Direct, kind of like Apple's AirDrop. Then we're going to go to display. So for display, we're gonna to wanna to do a couple things. One, you want to keep this phone always on dark mode. Why? It actually saves you battery life. An AMOLED display, basically when it's completely black, it actually has the screen off in that area. So it means the darker your screen, the more battery you're saving. You also want to look into dark wallpapers because of that too, because if you're on your home screen a lot, again, a black wallpaper will actually help your battery life. I always turn off uh, adaptive display brightness just because that is constantly using a sensor in order to change your brightness. So leaving it at about 70% or so is a better way to go. Blue light filter, you can set that on. I usually set it at a time schedule so that it can go on at a certain time of day. So basically when you're going to sleep, this helps you get to bed more easily. I do recommend though, when you do turn it on, I kind of turn it down a little bit because it's really strong, but that's just my preference. So again, tune it to how you like it. And then we're going to go to edge screen. Now, if you do not use the edge panels, basically, you can get rid of them. I do recommend getting rid of them if you're not gonna use it. I don't use edge lighting, um, and that is basically like a lighting sensor that uh, kind of goes all around the screen uh, for you to get notifications. And then I turn edge panels off because I don't use it in many phones, but 
again, if you're not using it, it's only going to hurt your battery. Then you do want to make sure you have slow charge information. So if you are using a third party charger, you can know if it's charging fast or not. Accidental presses, you do want to have on and touchscreen sensitivity. You do want to have on if you have a screen protector. So if you're putting a screen protector on your phone, you want to turn this on. If not, turn it off. So depending on if you have a screen protector on or not, which I do recommend that you want to turn on or off. Navigation bar, you can kind of go through different gestures, um, how you see fit. You can also change it, the back and recent button right here. Um, I like it this setup, but if you do go full screen, I do recommend you go to the more options and go from this area. This is probably the best of both worlds because it's back, home, and recent, but just swipe up gestures instead so you get more screen real estate. However, again, you just have to get used to uh, swiping up instead of pressing a button. All right, then from here, we're going to scroll down to location and I recommend on improved accuracy. I recommend turning Bluetooth off. You don't really need this. And what this does is it always has Bluetooth on even when you already have turned it off. So it's just a recommendation. I recommend turning that off. And then we're going to go to advanced features. And a couple of things here. So first off, I do recommend turning on Bigsby routines. These are some that I have set up. And basically when you sign into your Samsung account, they always sync up. The ones that I like are when you get home, your Wi-Fi is turned on, maybe your ringer turns on and at work, your uh, phone automatically goes to vibrate. Um, also, you can have certain things change. So your brightness during the night, all these things are great and you can set them up how you want. But Bigsby Routines is a great feature that will improve your phone and it can help improve your battery life as well. So when I get home, I don't necessarily always need Bluetooth to be turned on. But when I get in my car, I always want it to be turned on. And when I get in my car, I don't need Wi-Fi turned on. So again, you can really save battery life by setting up certain routines. Direct share will keep your top people. So that is always good to have on there. Reduce animations. We're going to do a better version of this later, but we just turned it on um, kind of to start speeding it up. And then I do recommend for motions and gestures, you turn off anything you don't like or don't need. Cause again, all these things do drain battery. So I'm going to turn these off because I don't use any of them. And again, that will help you on your battery life. And then we're going to go to uh, the biggest part of this, which is device care. So device care is an area that's really going to help you improve your battery life a lot. And first thing we're gonna go to is advanced and then auto optimization and auto restart. So you want to restart your phone at least once a week. This helps keeps it at a fast pace. You can decide on whatever day you want. I usually do Sundays at 3 a.m. Now you can do it twice a week if you want, that's even better, but at least once a week you want to auto restart the phone and it will not auto restart if any of these things are happening. So keep that in mind. And 3 a.m. I think it's pretty good for most people uh, or 4 a.m. whenever you wanna choose. So it doesn't bother you when it's uh, doing that. Now, optimize settings uh, when you're not using the phone. If you do not have an office job or something that you get a lot of emails in, this can be a pretty good one. Um, however, just be careful because I have noticed that certain apps like um, Outlook or certain things like that do not work when you have this on. So that is just a precaution um, for you depending on your job. Then we're gonna go to battery. And under battery, you're going to find a huge thing for you and that is sleeping apps and deep sleeping apps. These are apps that you never want to run in the background, basically. So you can add them to whatever you want. A lot of the Verizon apps, for instance, that come here. Basically what these are going to do is you don't, if you don't want the app to run in the background, this will stop it, pure and simple. So if you're not on the app, it will then not run. Like this is a Verizon thing that comes with a briefing. I don't need unless I'm on it. So again, you can even do this with games. You can do this with all this kind of stuff, but basically if you're not using it, it will not run in the background. So I would definitely do this with games. Anything that you don't need to run in the background, this is important. However, if something stops working or syncing properly, then you might wanna go back here because you might've put something that's not on there. 
again, I recommend like things like bank apps, things like video games, any of those kind of things that you do not need to run in the background. And trust me, most of my phones on Samsung have a full list because I rarely need apps to run in the background. And once you have them on here, they will not run in the background any longer. So that will really, really save your battery life. All right, then the last portion of this is going to be under settings scroll all the way to the top we're going to make you a developer but you're only going to use this to actually really improve uh, your overall speed of the phone so when you go to about phone then you're going to go to software information and then you're going to hit build number repeatedly you're going to put in your password mine is very secure and then you have this icon down here called developers options under developers options, you're gonna scroll down till you get to the drawing category. And here we are. This is the drawing category right there. And you have these three things that say scale and animation. You're gonna do that to 0.5. And once you have that, your phone will now complete its being much faster. So overall, this is going to improve the speed of your device by a lot. And you'll notice it just move much quicker in everything it does. Obviously, you want to get rid of any apps that you don't need or want. So there's a lot of, of Verizon apps on mine. I got rid of them already. But anything you don't want or need, you want to get rid of it so that it doesn't take up space on your phone. All right, guys, hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please give a like, thumbs up down below. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me.